modest dressing. It refers to women wearing less skin-revealing and tight-fitting clothes, especially in a way that satisfies their spiritual and stylistic requirements for reasons of faith, religion, or personal preferences. With this definition in mind, you might be asking yourself how keeping cool and modest dressing is possible on these summer and hot fall days as a God-fearing woman. This is what I will answer today as I will share with you how I dress at work as a doctor, at home, and on special occasions during these seasons of the year. We will take a quick peek in our favorite orthodox modest store to see what is the latest modest fashion, and I will also share with you my five best tips on how I dress modestly and classy on these hot days. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah Maka, and on my channel, I share all facets of my orthodox Sephardic Jewish life as a full-time working mom with small kiddos. So please don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let me put on a pretty tichel and let's jump into it. While I'm driving to our favorite Jewish modest store to show what is the latest modest fashion for our Orthodox Jewish community and share a few hacks we use to stay cool in the summer, let me share with you what is considered modest dressing in our community. We cover our neckline, our elbows, our dresses or skirts have to cover our knees, and for married women only, we cover our hair, whether with a headscarf, a hat, or a wig. And if you're wondering, yes, men also have their dress code and guidelines, but it is a subject for another video. The first thing you will notice in this Orthodox Jewish clothing store, beside the mezuzah greeting you on the doorpost, you will see that contrary to popular belief, as Orthodox Jewish women, we wear a lot of different colors, especially in the summer. Because we only wear skirts or dresses as Orthodox Jewish women, and we would not want for them to be see-through, as this would not be modest, all the skirts and dresses found in this store are lined with a thin, breathable fabric to keep us modest and cool. And when I buy my dresses or skirts in a regular store or online, I will use these slips that are amazing because the top is made of cotton, super breathable, and the bottom is made with a thin but opaque, breathable material to keep us modest and cool. And I will leave in the description box below the links to all the items you will see in this video. If you're telling yourself to be modest, you have to forego so many things like these cute short or sleeveless dresses. I will give you another trick we use to stay modest and cool in the summer, and that is to wear shells under these kind of dresses. Shells are made of a breathable cotton mix and can be found in all the colors you can imagine. They come in three quarter and full sleeves, and I will show you how I wear these a bit later in the video. And if the sleeves are long enough, but the neckline is too open, then we would use one of our favorite hacks to stay cool and modest, and that is to use these sleeveless shells that are made of cotton, keeping us nice and cool when we are layering them under our clothes, giving us the right neckline to cover our collarbone. Now that we saw a few tricks we use to stay modest and cool, let's go home and let me share with you how I style my clothes with my favorite tips and tricks to stay cool and modest from head to toe on hot days. Because we looked at the beautiful long dresses in the store, but unfortunately they were not long enough for me, let's start with this long dress I found on Amazon that fits me, and for reference, I am 5'9". And with this dress, let me share with you my first tip for keeping cool and modest, and that is to wear flowy clothes to let the air circulate. As you can see, the dress is very loose yet feminine without being too tight-fitting. I love the crisscross on the top that is always flattering on a dress. And here you can see I use one of the shells to make this neckline kosher. Because the sleeves were long enough, I used a sleeveless shell. And talking about the sleeves, the sleeves are balloon sleeves. And because the elastic are nice and loose, I could pull them up with ease if I need to. 
I added this necklace to dress up this everyday dress and I could also add a belt like this one. And for my headscarf, I'm wearing my loosely knitted cotton scarf that is so breathable to which I added two elastic headbands to add a little something something. With the second everyday outfit comes my tip number two to stay cool and modest on hot days and that is using natural material like cotton and linen as often they are knitted loosely, making them very breathable. As you can see, this skirt is made of cotton and I'm wearing a cotton shirt that I really loosely knotted and underneath, I'm wearing our famous Levis shell to make this neckline kosher. I love oversized white shirts as they are so versatile and for a more casual look, I would untie the shirt and roll up the sleeves for extra airflow. I paired this with a blue necklace and for the headscarf, I'm wearing a very simple white and blue square headscarf that you have already seen in my previous video where I show you how I cover my hair as an Orthodox Jewish woman and I will leave the link to this video in the description box below and the link above for you to watch it after this one. I often hear people say that wearing modest clothes is too restrictive or hard to wear or there's not a lot of selection. So here is another tip I use to transform clothes I love to be tenute or modest and that is to layer pieces. For example, if a skirt or a dress is too short, like this dress shirt that by itself is way too short for me, by layering it with a light white skirt, now it covers my knees and I can really enjoy wearing it while being modest. As you guessed it, I'm wearing this with a sleeveless shell for the neckline to be modest. I paired it with this chunky pink and white pearl necklace. And for the meat parade or headscarf, I'm wearing a simple pink scarf with this applique and pearl earrings. And if you're wondering where I got the applique, I made it by cutting out the flower of a fabric and putting some iron-on lining and gluing a little bit of ribbon on it. I simply hide the ribbon in the folds of my headscarf. And if you would want to know more on how to embellish your headscarf and more tips and tricks on how I cover my hair, please let me know in the comments below. The third tip to stay cool and modest in the summer is to wear light colored clothes. As you probably know, light colors will not absorb heat as much as dark colored clothes do. Here I'm wearing a flowy white skirt and a cute colorful shirt. The shirt is so nice because not only is it made of a light material, but also it has balloon sleeves that leaves the air flow. With this top, of course, I'm wearing a cropped sleeveless shell to maximize the amount of air contact with my skin. I could absolutely remove the belt as well to add some airflow. I paired it with a simple coral necklace that has blue and pink hues like the shirt. And for the headscarf or tichel, it is a light cotton peach scarf to which I added a simple clip that I hid in the folds of the headscarf. My tip number four is to wear what we call a duster coat. Some will call them a tunique. It is a very loose fitting piece of clothing that maximizes airflow, like this one. With the large bell sleeves, I have paired it with a long black skirt because I could not find my long pink skirt that I usually wear with it. So because it is black, I would not wear it on a super sunny day, but it would be absolutely perfect to wear on a gloomy rainy day like today. I paired it with a simple loose knitted pink headscarf and I used the belt that came with the duster as an accessory to coordinate the outfit. Another tip for my fellow denim lovers like me is instead of wearing the heavy-duty thick denim, I wear what is called chambré. This fabric has the same look of denim, but it is light and very breathable. Here I'm wearing the same shirt dress that I got from Walmart, but this time it is made of chambré. I paired it with a loose chambré skirt as well, and I added a belt. This is the perfect outfit to wear on a day where the daytime is pretty hot and the nighttime is cooler like in a hot fall day. I paired it with one of my favorite loosely knitted white and blue cotton scarf. 
For Shabbat, the Jewish holidays, or any formal settings like a wedding, I usually stick with white, navy blue, and black, but I make sure that what I'm wearing is adapted for a hot day. Here I'm wearing a navy blue skirt, and for the top, it is made of a very special fabric called eyelet. I love this fabric because not only it is so elegant, but it also let the air flow. This top also has some semi bat wing sleeves, and of course, because the sleeves are too short, I paired it with a long sleeve shell. I added a row of pearls to dress it up. And for the headscarf, I'm wearing a set from Israel with a bonnet and the extra crystal headband. And finally, for my fifth and last tip to stay cool, classy, and modest on hot days is not to hesitate to wear transparent tops like this one from Amazon. Even if it is completely transparent, I could not resist it with its beautiful 3D polka dots and gorgeous drawstrings on the balloon sleeves for the ultimate romantic look. By wearing one of the long sleeve shells, it allows me to wear this lovely top, which without it would be a hard pass. I'm curious to know, do you notice these details on clothes and would you also choose this kind of top? I paired this outfit with simple pearl earrings and for the headscarf, it is a stunning apron scarf. To add a little je ne sais quoi to my foulard or headscarf, I added an applique and this time, instead of being simply attached by a ribbon, this one is glued to a stretchy fabric and added on top of the headscarf. I truly hope this video was helpful for you and gave you some ideas on how easy and lovely being mute or modestly dressed is. I would love to know what was your favorite outfit or tip to stay cool, classy and modest on these hot summer days? I Let me know in the comments below. Don't mind if I say Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me and know that you are my inspiration to continue being here week after week. And if you're here until the end, please write in the comments, I love staying cool, so I know I was not alone. And if nobody told you today, know that you are loved and you are enough just the way you are. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget, to firm it up.